The free world opposes Russia's invasion of Ukraine and there is unity amongst major economies on the need to stop Vladimir Putin, the US President Joe Biden argued in a speech in Poland. The US President Joe Biden met with Poland's president as he wrapped up a visit to Europe, a visit intended to bolster unity over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. His trip came even as there were indications that Moscow might be scaling back its military ambitions might be narrowing its military objectives. The U.S. president wrapped up a three-day trip to Europe, which reinforced Washington's commitment to NATO in the face of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The U.S. president was in Europe for, an unpre for unprecedented uh, emergency summits in Brussels with NATO members, where he says Western leaders showed a united front against Russia's invasion. He also met with the Ukrainian foreign minister and the defense minister, his first face-to-face -face meetings with top Ukrainian officials since the start of the war. Ukraine and its people are on the front lines, fighting to save their nation. And their brave resistance is part of a larger fight for an essential democratic principles that unite all free people. And the big story back home. The Modi government on Saturday extended the scheme to provide uh, food grains free of cost or rations free of cost to the poor by another six months till September 30th at the cost of 80,000 crore rupees as it looks to continue providing support to the vulnerable amidst a rebound in the COVID-19 pandemic. The scheme which started when India went into a stringent lockdown two years ago was to end on the 31st of March. And in UP, a day after taking oath, the government decided to extend the free ration scheme for three more months. This was a decision taken at the first cabinet meeting, one of the first decisions of this new government, a uh, re-elected government, uh, while the deputy chief minister told NETV that the BJP has already started preparing for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections in UP. Two cabinet meetings held by Yogi Adityanath within 24 hours of swearing in as the UP Chief Minister for the second time. In the cabinet meeting held on Saturday morning, it was decided to extend the free ration scheme which ended in March 2022 for another three months. Which means till June 2022, free ration will be available for 15 crore people of UP. आज मंत्रिमंडल ने निर्णय लिया है कि अगले तीन महीनों के लिए इस योजना को प्रदेश के सभी 15 करोड़ लोगों के लिए फिर से हम लोग लागू करेंगे। Even after his defeat, there was influx of supporters to Keshav Prasad Maurya's house. He has become the deputy CM for the second time. Speaking to NDTV, Keshav Prasad Maurya said that preparations for Lok Sabha elections have started. लोकसभा चुनाव से दो साल में है 2024 में है क्या उसको देखते हुए तैयारी शुरू हो गई आप लोगों ने कल से काम शुरू कर दिया दूसरे बैठक में 2022 का चुनाव के बाद 2024 का ही है और पांचवी विजय और उत्तर प्रदेश में 75 प्लस के साथ संकल्प के साथ हम लोग फिर तैयारी में लगेंगे अखिलेश यादव आल्सो हेल्ड अ मीटिंग विद ऑल हिज एमएलएज ऑन सैटरडे वेयर ही वाज इलेक्टेड द लीडर ऑफ एसपीज लेजिस्लेचर बोर्ड व्हिच मींस अखिलेश will be the leader of opposition in the UP assembly. Samajwadi party ke aaj vidhayak dal ke neta maani Akhilesh Yadho ji chune gai hai. Sar sammas se chune gai hai. Uncle Shivpal was upset about not being invited to the meeting of SP legislature party. But the SP says this is because he is an MLA from the quota of the LI. Now everybody is waiting for portfolios. Who will get what? Who will get the power department, who will get industrial development and most importantly, who will take care of law and order, which means home department. In Lucknow, with Vineet Saurabh Shukla for NDTV. And in the national capital, the Aam Aadmi Party announced its budget for the financial year with a focus on employment. The government says it's aiming to create 20 lakh jobs in five years in retail and wholesale, tourism and the green energy sectors. However, education and health both have seen marginal cuts of 0.6 and point uh, and 1.6 percent each delhi's rozgar budget made for the post-pandemic economy 
The aim is to create 20 lakh jobs in five years, targeting the famous markets of Delhi like this one in Lajpat Nagar. The Deputy Chief Minister says this is as per suggestions and demands made by the citizens of Delhi through a participation portal on their website. इसमें प्रस्तुत योजनाओं के माध्यम से हम न सिर्फ दिल्ली के बाजारों की और व्यापार की रौनक और उसकी गरिमा को लौटा लाएंगे 21वीं सदी के वर्तमान और भावी व्यापार को भी हम दिल्ली में प्रोत्साहित देंगे और इन सब प्रयासों से जो मैं इस बजट में रखने जा रहा हूं इन सब प्रयासों से अगले 5 साल में दिल्ली में कम से कम 20 लाख नई नौकरियां पैदा होंगी with the waning pandemic and full vaccination of the adult population near completion, the health budget has seen its first cut since the Ahmadni party has come to power. Education, the government's flagship sector, has also seen a cut of 0.6%. The budget targets job creation in wholesale and retail markets by renovating them to attract more tourists. But such unorganized sectors suffered massively during the lockdown and don't offer much job security. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said they are prioritizing quantity over quality of jobs for now. Corona ki wajay se bhoat sare jobs chale gai, har ghar ke andar taklif hai. Abhi toh wo log ye aadmi ye sorsa yaar kahi bhi kuch bhi naukri mil jai aur ghar ka kharcha chal jai. Toh abhi toh ye hai ki sab logo ko naukri mil hai, phir isko aur improve karenge, quality of jobs bhi improve karenge. Abhi toh quantity is the biggest factor. Sellers welcome the attempt to attract more tourists, but are worried that the planned renovation could push out small-scale retailers who hawk on the roadside. तो बिल्कुल क्यों नहीं कर? Tourist बढ़ेंगे तो काम तो बढ़ेगा, काम बढ़ेगा तो अब जैसे हमारा staff छह लोगों का है तो आठ लोगों का करना पड़ेगा, और जैसे सरोवरी नगर में हम पहले हम वहाँ भी काम किया हुआ है, अब वहाँ की पटरी सारी हटवा दी, और पटरी हटने की वजह से बहुत से बंदे भी रोजगार घरों में पड़े हुए हैं। खूबसूरत बनाइए, लेकिन कुछ ऐसा तो करिए कि अगर किसी चीज को हटा रहे हैं तो कुछ कुछ बनाइए भी तो कि जहां हमें रोजगार मिल सके। Opposition leaders of the assembly are skeptical of the steep aims. इन्होंने unorganized sector पे ज़्यादातर जोर दिया है, जिसका कोई लेखा जोखा ये नहीं कर पा रहे हैं। मुझे लगता है ये सिर्फ � आपके ठगों ने मैं फिर कहूंगी एक बार फिर दिल्ली को इस बजट के माध्यम से ठगने की कोशिश की है बड़े बड़े दावे किए गए थे कि दिल्ली को पूरी तरह से वायु प्रदूषण मुक्त कर देंगे और आज की हकीकत यह है 2018 से 22 आ जाता है और पता लगता है कि भारत की राजधानी दिल्ली लगातार पांचवें साल विश्व की सबसे ज्यादा प्रदूषित दिल्ली बनी हुई है 20 lakh jobs in five years, meaning the Delhi government is aiming to create four lakh jobs within this year, most of them in the unorganized sector. Questions are already being raised on whether this will provide the needed stability for people who lost their jobs amid the pandemic. Now we wait to see how the government will deliver. With Pavan Kumar, Meher Pandey for NDTV. Meanwhile, a CBI team has arrived in uh, Birbhum and uh, has begun the investigation into last week's violence that claimed uh, eight lives. This even as leader of the opposition in West Bengal and BJP workers held a padyatra in Birbhum. Uh, on the violence, they are holding a sit-in strike for 48 hours. They are demanding the resignation of the state home minister, which is the chief minister. Look, here we have 48 hours. Our strike is going on. We have to leave our demand to leave our demand. We need to investigate the GBI. And the one who is going to do the arrest, it will not be done. जो कॉन्स्पिरेटर है पीछे जो है उसको भी अंदर लेना चाहिए कानून के अंदर आना चाहिए well, the BJP definitely sees a political opportunity in uh, the incident to take on Mamata Banerjee and this is of course going to be a challenge for her given the fact that there are two things that it's going to affect her with one is of course the question of law and order in West Bengal and this of course incident brings to light the fact that crude bombs are available so easily that a political functionary of a political party can simply gather supporters, go into an area, set homes on fire allegedly, and the police haven't really done anything to stop it. So the Home Ministry, which Suvendu Adhikari mentioned, is of course with the Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. And also, there is another part to this. That is of course the fact that Mamata Banerjee has national ambitions for 2024. But in a state in like West Bengal, if she cannot maintain law and order, then perhaps that is something that others 
like Arvind Kejriwal who are vying for the same spot can use. So obviously this is something that Mamata Banerjee has to manage. And secondly, the other part of this is also that Mamata Banerjee came to power, she rode on into power on a wave of agitations exactly against incidents like these. There were incidents of violence, Nondigram or Shingur where there was another you know, horrific case. But in these cases what has happened is that you know, uh, she is now on the other side. She is in government and uh, you know, there is of course the whole fact that uh, the, uh, there has been this carnage where women and children have been burned to death. So obviously she, this is going to be difficult for her to actually manage you know and this is going to be a test of her sort of uh, of her challenge managing skills so to speak in politics and this is of course not going to die down so easily because of the na not only because of the nature of the incident a horrific incident but also because of the politics surrounding it because the opposition the critics of Mamata Banerjee smell an opportunity here to target her over the incident Meanwhile, an event in Madhya Pradesh's Indore where the retired professor, the author Shamsul Islam was scheduled to attend and speak has been cancelled, citing quote-unquote government orders. The Textile Development Trust, which runs the Jal Auditorium, sent a letter to the organizers the day before the talk to cancel it, citing government orders. Mr. Islam has been travelling across India talking about the need for religious harmony. जी मैं बंग ये इस बार के मध्य प्रदेश के ये शहीदी दिवस के कार्यक्रमों में ही नहीं सारा देश में घूम रहा हूँ और हिंदू मुसलमानों के बीच में जो झगड़ा कराने की कोशिश की जा रही है कि मुसलमान हिंदू विरोधी हिंदू विरोधी होते हैं उसके लिए मैं मौलाना हसरत मोहानी का कृष्ण जी की स्तुति में लिखा हुआ गीत पढ़ रहा हूँ कम से कम 20 जगह मैंने भोपाल के अंदर इसको पढ़ा है और मैं सुनाना चाहता हूँ वो गीत और वो मैं मैं सुनाना चाहता हूँ इससे भी मुझे सुनाने से रोका गया and now a special report from Kashmir where fear has gripped panchayat members in South Kashmir after targeted killings in militant attacks. In March so far we've had three panchayat members who've been killed by militants raising concerns about the safety of uh, punches and sarpanchas of Kashmir. In a remote village in Shopia district, these panchayat members are afraid to go out and address issues people are facing. The fear of being the next terrorist target has gripped thousands of panchayat members after the recent target killings in the valley. Only this month, three panchayat members have been killed by terrorists. <laughs> After the attacks, a large number of panchayat members have been kept in security enclosures for safety. Some village heads have moved to safer areas like Poonch and Rajori districts of Jammu. There are around 20,000 panchayat members in the Kashmir Valley. While individual security for each village chief is not possible for the government, the Jammu and Kashmir police chief says every necessary step is being taken to ensure safety of panchayat members. जहाँ जहाँ पर जिस तरह की assessment है security agencies की उसके मुताबिक security के इंतजाम जगह जगह पर किए गए हर जिले में किए गए हैं जहाँ आगे भी जरूरत होगी उन इंतजामों को और भी पुख्ता किया जाएगा. Village chiefs say the fear of attacks has already crippled them and they just can't carry out routine activities. टारगेट बना रहे हैं पांच और सरपंच बना रहे हैं मैं हमारे मेरे आठ पंच हैं और सरपंच और मैं डिप्टी सरपंच हूँ लेकिन हम हलके में जाते हैं डेवलपमेंट करते हैं लोगों के काम करते हैं लेकिन बिल्कुल हमें थ्रेट मिल रही है हम डरते हैं कैसे हमारा परिवार जो है बिल्कुल इस वक्त थ्रेट में अकॉर्डिंग टू पुलिस नंबर ऑफ मिलिटेंट्स में हैव कम डाउन इन कश्मीर मिलिटेंसी स्टिल अलाइव एंड इट्स इनोसेंट पीपल लोकल पोलिटिकल वर्कर्स एंड पंचायत मेंबर्स हु बी आर द ब्रेंट ऑफ वायलेंस इन श्रीनगर नजीर मसूदी फाइन डी